Hello everyone and welcome back to another Renaissance Roach video. Oh, I have an exciting surprise for you waiting in my mailbox, but before we get to that, let me give you a bit of a breakdown of what's going on. Unfortunately, my time here in Sweden is coming to an end, which means it's time to pack up my life. There's all my clothes over there, and then there's my camera gear and other things in this bag. And uh, that's also concludes the uh, apartment tour. So um, there's the uh, stove in the kitchen. And there's the rest of my apartment. So yeah, tomorrow's plan, getting picked up by Toma yes. and Niels, who are gonna drop me off at the airport. And then I'm making my way to Stockholm and then Geneva for my flight transfer. And then I'm making my way to Lisbon. Then I'm gonna meet Niels, who's actually gonna be joining me in Portugal. So super excited for that. And then from there, I'm gonna make my way back to Canada and I'm gonna start working real estate, because that's what I do. So my broski, Adam, he's gonna pick me up in Toronto and uh, he's gonna drive me back to Sudbury. But a four hour drive, gonna be fun, gonna be good to catch up with him. But before we get to all that stuff, let's go see what's in my mailbox. Let's go. I've actually never been to my mailbox. Supposedly it's red, oh, there it is. Let's see what we got in here. Looks good. So for those of you who don't know, I've been playing for AIF here in Sweden. I've had a wonderful season. I've been doing a lot of thinking over the last beep. Oh, I wanna show you guys the password. Here is the surprise, guys. We have a new hockey contract for 2024, 2025. Super excited. I've been doing a lot of thinking over the last month on what I wanna do next year. And you know what? I have decided that I wanna to return to Sweden and play here again. Uh, I had some conversations with some other teams, agents in other countries, but I decided that I wanted to just come back. I felt like it was family here. I felt like it was right. Something in my heart would just tell me to come back. So yeah, we uh, made it happen. Been talking with Callie over the last few weeks and I'm pretty sure we came to an agreement. So, you know, cross the T's, dot the I's and I'm gonna sign your name here. So pen to paper, let's do it. Very nice, very nice. Well guys, it's official, we're back. Another season here in Kiruna. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'd just like to thank Kale and uh, the rest of the organization at Kiruna IF. This is the first step to try to get to Hockey Aton. I'm super excited for this, this journey. So let's do it. Time to head to bed and then we're hitting the airport tomorrow. So just in the nick of time, got these uh, contracts signed and uh, it's ready to go. So thank you. See you. Thank you for the ride, Thomas. Yes, you, but we haven't reached the airport yet. That's true. Maybe I kidnap you and keep you in Sweden and all the OEFers will be very happy. <laughs> they will shout, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been here getting things ready, trying to find a new hockey team. Still no success yet, but we are uh, making steps in the right direction. See, guys, I knew it was gonna work out. <laughs> Hello 
everyone. It's currently April 4th. It's been a good time here in Portugal. Arrived on the 2nd, late at night. Wendy picked me up, been hanging out with her for about a day and a half. She dropped me off here at Simona Patrick's house. We have a beautiful quinta here in Val de Santarém. And yeah, I'm just enjoying the sunshine since I came from Sweden, which was also sunshine, but a lot colder. So here it's pretty warm. Uh, they have a lovely property. Uh, they have a house back here, a few garages back there, and they're starting a really exciting project. Basically, they're running a small little Airbnb village. Super interesting. It's inspired by 10 regions in Portugal. As you can see behind me, they have these little tiny homes. Each of them is themed on the inside by the different regions. So kind of like take a little tour around and see what they got. There's been a lot of rain here in Portugal over the last little while. Obviously this will be gardened and landscaping will be finished, but it's quite beautiful. Pretty cool area here. So this is kind of what it's looking at. Really beautiful in here. Authentic tile back there. And these things are fully loaded, you know. You got all your cups, glasses, plates. You got everything, everything you need. Oven, stove top, and this is the bedroom. These are a therapeutic mattress, so super, super comfortable. Stuff made here in Portugal. They got cork lamps. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. So this is the bathroom. This is also made of cork. Oh, and look at that. Just stunning. Yeah, just look at all the detail. Like, even these tiles, like these are all hand painted here in Portugal. I love it. I love it. Okay, everyone, let's me introduce you guys to Patrick and Simone. Hi. And, and the dog. Hey, me. me. Cesar. Okay, guys. So, how are you guys enjoying this project so far? There's obviously a lot of work and a lot it's, of stress, I imagine. It's been fun, <laughs> yes. Quite a bit of stress. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're like, hey, me. <laughs> the dog is super excited. <laughs> um, so, um, but excited because that's great. this is a long time dream. Now, actually, true came into reality. So what inspired you guys to do this project? Many things. Yeah, uh, a life, long life of hosting friends and strangers even while we were, me starting in Ottawa, then Montreal, and then 26 years in Arizona. When we decided to retire here or move to Portugal, we thought we would put what we did for years as a hobby and turn it into a business. It seemed to have an effect on people to change change your life to some extent, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or change the way they felt. And and here in particular, in this area, it, it, it adds a, uh, a sense of uh, calm and almost have the, there was some something special in the air or in this location in particular. Awesome. Mm -hmm. well, so what do you guys hope for this project to accomplish oh. um, moving forward? Many things. One, let's open. So yeah. let's stop. <laughs> Let's call the big guy and say, hold off on the rain for a little bit, please, so we can finish with the landscaping. But most importantly, like we've already hosted, we've only been here, what, three years now? Barely yeah. a week ago. And uh, the, the guests, the few guests we've had have been transformed by the serenity of the place, the peace and quiet. We hope that all of the guests that do come here are able to really, truly disconnect from the chaos of the world, the noise, connect with nature, um, and just enjoy being quiet maybe sometimes. Then the second mission for me personally because I am of Portuguese heritage that uh, those who, even those within the country um, that will come and stay here like the ones from outside of the country will discover the many regions we represent here in Portugal, what it has to offer. It's a small country. We could drive from one end to the other about six and a half hours but there's a lot to see and many, many beautiful things historically, uh, culturally, in gastronomy. I mean, the list goes on. So that's the second mission. And then um, the third is that we do well enough so that we can uh, fully participate within the community, either working with other businesses and bringing them business, but also eventually hopefully making enough so that Patrick and I can make a difference in the community. Like, for example, scholarships for kids that might not have the, the possibility here to study further because they, they lack funds. So there's a multi aspect to this refuge that we hope will become um, 
even more exciting starting the day we open. Awesome, lovely. Any final thoughts? And I think I'd like to maybe show the viewers inside uh, the building behind us here. No. So we can head in there. Yes. We hope you can. <laughs> yeah, no. Yes, you, we hope you continue to come yeah. because you're like family. We love you. We follow you everywhere where you go. <laughs> and then now you know you have a place to come and disconnect. Yeah. whenever you want and we hope maybe future guests will too we hope to launch your website in about two weeks awesome. and uh, can't wait to hear and share stories of wonderful people who are going to come here awesome and for those that want to find you guys where are you guys going to be hosting is it on Airbnb is there other services uh, definitely Airbnb and then the others uh, we'll see it, it will most likely include booking Expedia and we'll see as we go I might convince you to stay here with us so you're our, <laughs> our uh, what do we call that? Our, our media. Media, media guy. guy. Media guy. <laughs> I media got a guy. new job, guys. TikTok, <laughs> Instagram, everything I can't be bothered with because I'm too busy cooking, yeah. enjoying everything else. That's awesome. it, Andrew. Awesome, yeah. And I guess I'll put a link down below to your website. You guys have the name of the website or the name yep, of this project? Be, it'll be launched when it's launched. It's called Refugio of the Quinta Niremaitia. The website will be quintaneremaitia.com. Awesome. So yeah, I'll leave those down in the description. And yeah, I'm sure by the time this video is up, you guys will be open and running, hopefully. Um, yes. So yeah, it'll be a race to who finishes the video or if you guys finish this project first. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thank, thank you guys. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys uh, yeah. keeping me here. So that concludes our little interview here. We'll try to get into this building behind them. And then maybe we'll cut to a shot of me swimming, hopefully. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Patrick will use his drone. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> okay, guys, so the tour continues. They have these, uh, oh, where's some lighting? There's some good lighting, kind of, eh, not really. Uh, there, there we go. So here we are. This is kind of where they could do some yoga stuff in here. And then they have this cool plants back here. They said this is like zombified plants. I'm not sure exactly where they got this, but they're actually real plants. They like dehydrate them, rehydrate them, something, I don't know. And then they have this cool plant chandelier thing in the middle. But as you can see, it's just lovely in here. You really feel very at peace in here. Like, who wouldn't want to do yoga with this view, you know? Especially when the landscaping's done, super excited. So there's some yoga mats in there. And then this wall actually closes off. I'm not sure what you do here, but it looks really cool. This is the logo. The logo, really nice. And uh, in here is the commercial kitchen. Awesome. So yeah, this pretty much uh, concludes the tour and now you'll see me jumping in the lake. Let's go. down below. <laughs> hey. We found Niels. Oh shit, that's <laughs> What of you? Okay, so finished up some time with Simone and Wendy. Took the train here to Lisbon. Now we are here with Niels. Drinking. Drinking off some off-season uh, juice. And uh, we're gonna have some nice food coming soon. So we're excited, beautiful view. Awesome view of uh, Lisbon, and uh, we're gonna go climb some hills. Time to eat. Okay, Niels and I finished some nice lunch. Yeah. Now we're exploring the castle yeah. here. Really nice day here. Beautiful weather. What a view, what a view. Doesn't get better than this, Niels. No. Living the European dream. Yeah. In the castle here with Niels, exploring the walls, the city. Taking the pictures. Being the influencer that never posts anything. <laughs> this is nice over here, look at this view. You know, it's even better view after you have taken the, the off-season juice. <laughs> <laughs> the off-season the off juice is coming in hot. <laughs> the title of the vlog is like a day in, a day in Lisbon with off-season off juice. <laughs> Thank you very much, thank you.
It's the best. So you're sitting down, minding your own business, eating ice cream, and there's a guy comes up by, comes by. He's like, you want to buy sunglasses? <laughs> the first answer is like no. And then like the second best selling product, you want to buy coke? <laughs> no. <laughs> so how do you go from sunglasses to coke in one question? The <laughs> selling. It's like the best part. Okay, Neil, stay two. How you feel? I feel great actually today. Any yeah. plans for the day? Yeah. Do I have to say something? Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I'm just looking around. Like, yeah, you're just enjoying the view. Yeah. Counting. Yeah. You excited for your lunch? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's attack the day with, yep. uh, with excitement. Let you do the intro, you have more energy. Hello everyone, day two here in Lisbon, Portugal. Super excited, am I really close to the camera? No, you're good. No, I'm good, okay, good. Today we are gonna cross over to uh, the Christ the King statue across the river from Lisbon. We'll uh, tour around there, take some nice pictures, and uh, obviously eat a lot of good food, so we're gonna have fun and head down the hill to the water and catch the boat, so let's go. We did not go the right way. <laughs> okay, everyone, Niels and I have successfully boarded the ferry after a long wait. We both tried to buy tickets, including the ferry, but we both messed up. There's only, like, there's, no, I don't think we messed up. The <laughs> there's only, system messed up. Uh, Niels is not very happy. Explain your uh, your feelings. I don't understand how can like the ticket system be so shit when on the screen it says like daily 24-hour ticket like bus, metro, uh, <laughs> and ferry. It doesn't say train. It's like bus, metro, ferry. You buy that one, and then it just still doesn't work. <laughs> There's only three tickets possible to buy, and we bought both of the ones that were the wrong ones. <laughs> but the good news is we're on the train now, or on the on the ferry now. Okay, want to go outside? Let's go take a look outside. There's Lisbon across the way. I think. Well, it was nice in the weather. Yeah. Although it's kind of nice today. We don't have to get sunburnt. Yep. We made it, Niels. Yeah. Just some more tourist attractions. Loving it. Yep. Living and chilling here. Living and chilling. Had a nice Lisbon. lunch, you know. Delicious. Yep. We're just strolling along. Look at these, uh, I don't even know what these are. Pineapple trees? I don't even know. They look like pineapples. Yeah, 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 what are you yeah. doing, Niels? Enjoying the view. Enjoying the view, yeah. It's a nice view here. Yeah. What a statue. Okay, Niels, where are you? There you are. Hello, Niels. Okay, so we explored the top of Christ the King statue, and uh, tomorrow we're going to be heading over there and over there, and we're going to look at some more cool statues. Hopefully, it'll be a bit sunnier out, a little, quiet, a little quieter. <laughs> And um, yeah, we're gonna take the boat back. Oh, and then we might go see the aquarium, which is really cool. Are you excited, Niels? Yep, really excited. <laughs> loving it, loving it. Let's go, let's go. Now I take the bus back, find the ferry, and uh, we'll see you guys on the boat. Or maybe at the place, I don't know. We'll see you later, bye. Neat, pretty neat. Niels loves taking pictures of the lighthouse. Classic tourist. Yep. As I'm taking videos of Niels taking pictures. Vlogger tourists. <laughs> He's an actor. We made it over the ferry successfully. We didn't ice drown. Cream. We got ice cream. Now I get this bowl. Nice. What are your thoughts? It's good. It's good? And the drink? What is the drink? It's um, uh, off-season juice. How many off-season juice we have? <laughs> Ooh. Strong the drink. <laughs> Strong off Holy season juice. <laughs> this was not a mixed one. <laughs> I'm gonna be floating after this one. <laughs> I'm like golfing, it's burning my neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's for real like the strongest off season juice I ever drank. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another day begins. Head to your favorite spot, Niels. Yeah, no, I'm happy. Niels is happy now. Yeah, now I can do whatever. Cart number one. 
such a beautiful street. Like not that you f***ing the tram even, like the whole street. <laughs> What do you think of the castle? It's pretty cool. Sangria time! <laughs> so nice off season juice, Neil. So you ready? No. <laughs> You also have some water. Perfect. Healthy athlete. <laughs> just, con just considering my life choices at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, Niels. Yep. What do you think of the statue? Monument thing? Nice here. Just living and chilling. Or chilling and living, going around, watching some sculptures. San Francisco Bridge in the back. A Rio sculpture on the other side of the bridge. <laughs> Everything here. We got it all. Yep. So, Niels, we got the goods. Yep. The famous pastiche de Bellum. We'll go find a nice spot to sit and eat. I'm too hungry, I want to eat. <laughs> or you're just gonna eat it, <laughs> eat it now. <laughs> we found a nice park to eat our pastries, even though you already ate one. But we, I was smart and I ordered three. One so you could eat on the road, <laughs> and one that we could actually enjoy. Oh, what a lovely park. This looks like a perfect spot. Okay, Nils, here we go. They're so warm. Mmm. I got cinnamon on my arm. They're freshly baked. Mmm. Oh, not good. The best ones this trip for sure. And the ones yesterday were also pretty good. What do you get that? Probably a 10. 10? Yeah. That's a good score. It's really good. They were like a 9. 9-2. Nine 9-2 two. Nine two is what I get it. Okay, it's great work. Great work. Good stretch, Niels. Yep. Ready to go to the coach museum? Yep. yep. This talks about the history of all the best coaches. It's throughout history. About that. Yeah, it's about coaches. It's like Portugal's best coaches? Yeah. In the world. Uh, no, the world. The world. All the best coaches in the world. It's a big museum about coaches, huh? It is. Are you excited? Maybe something interesting to read. It would be in more interesting about players, but uh -huh. it's not about coaches. It's about, it's about coaches, yeah. No, it's about coaches, Niels. I, don't, I still don't believe it's about coaches. I have like no idea what museum I'm going to. It's a coaches museum. I will believe about. when we go in the museum. It is a coaches museum. Thank you. It is about coaches. This is coaches. I thought you were coaches, like sports coaches, not like <laughs> these coaches. <laughs> I told you it's a coach museum. <laughs> a different type. What do you call these? Uh, they're coaches. I don't know how they're actually. So which one's your favorite coach now? <laughs> this is Coach de Philippe the second. In Portugal, I would like, yeah, you know, like if it was in the States, like NBA, NHL coaches, like then I would be like, you know, you have some wax figures of the coaches, I would be like, yeah. So Niels, we made it to the aquarium, you excited? Yep, this is actually interesting. Google says it's like one of the best in the world, so I have high expectations. Okay. <laughs> okay Niels, I can't yep. see you very well, but... Healing journey. <laughs> like recovering. <laughs> so Niels, what's your first thoughts of the uh, aquarium so far? Really cool. You like it's it? Like, yeah, it's, they're like uh, going on to like spiritual journey with your mind, your heart, like your, I don't know how to explain it. 
I'm, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> no, but it's like actually, like the atmosphere here is like unbelievable. The music and stuff. Something, something else. I've never been to something like this. That makes me, that makes me happy that you're happy, Niels. Yeah, it's, re it's really nice. I think it really sets the tone, gets you in the mood to really look at some fish. Which one we're gonna do next? Super excited. Let's go. Oh, it actually like smells like fish in here. <laughs> <laughs> holy moly. It's an aquarium, what did you expect? Yes, and then like this is like fishy fish. You know? <laughs> It's funny, you know, when you look how people like, oh, like the fish, you know, there's a shark and then there's small fishes and they're like all good. As soon as the f***ing lights go out, it's a, it's a game of survival, like three, two, you know. Look, like, you can get, like, killed. I mean, there's no way the sharks don't eat those small fish. <laughs> they can't just be, like, They're all friends. friends. They can't be. Yeah, they're friends, Niels, come on. No, it's a war. No, look how friendly that shark looks. Yeah, it's not like it's hunting these three <laughs> It's literally hunting it. <laughs> okay, no, maybe it has enough food today. See? Look at the face. <laughs> so Niels, what do you think of the otters? Very cute. <laughs> this one's a normal one. The other one is a bit special. <laughs> in the tank as well. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Niels, we have completed the aquarium here in Lisbon. What did you think? It was really cool. Like, really, really cool. Worth it? Yeah, definitely. I said I would be even pay double next time. To really? Support. Yeah, it was okay. really cool. Awesome. I'm happy you enjoyed it. Uh, how would you rate my tour guiding skills this trip in the last three days? Pretty good. I Pretty know. good? Like, yeah. solid. Solid? Like, solid 10 out of 10. 10? Ooh, yeah. okay. I was hoping for, like, at least an 8. But I'll take, <laughs> I'll take a 10 out of 10. I mean, we've been basically everywhere, so it's pretty good. That's what I like to hear, buddy. Awesome. Okay, good work. Now we have to meet Wendy. Although, I do actually have one thing to what? complain no. about. Okay, we'll, cut it. Bring we'll it cut it there. You see that sign there? That it's, uh, don't drive over the cliff. Every year, at least one car goes over oh, really? the cliff. <laughs> Every oh, year. Every because year. They, we're doing a flyby, <laughs> flyby. over top of... San Martino di Porto. What was it called? San Martino di Porto? Yeah, That's San Martino di Porto. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now guys, I see. Look, <laughs> look, look, look at that. Oh, is it okay if I help out take a picture? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. And then there's the beach over there. Yeah, that, was, that was like... <laughs> really beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I've been to beautiful places, but <laughs> it's the sky as well, like the color. I know. <laughs> now starts the influencer. Watch out, Niels. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Niels? What a view. Literally like living the dream. Too scared to go. Whoa. 
walking to the biggest waves in the world, except it's not that big at the moment. The city is nice, the weather is lovely, the sun yes. is shining. The, port's cool. the only thing we're missing is the pina coladas from the lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> okay, we're heading up to the top of the fort. It's slash lighthouse. So you can't go past the yellow line. Well, you can, but you might die. Really beautiful. <laughs> Here comes the rain. Do 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 do. It's a lovely view. This is uh, super nice. Nielsen and I are just enjoying our castle walk. My mom and father would not be happy. Vlogging on the side of a cliff. Sorry, mom and dad. A uh, little bit of a high drop down the edge of that side. A bit of a drop there. I'm being sort of careful. You having fun, Niels? Um, when you get shot with an arrow through here, you just fall down and then they that's good drag your body fast, away. It's a fast death. You know? <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's the strategy. You like literally <laughs> fly backwards, hit your head on the stone, and you're good. It's authentic. Uh, Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the risk. I'll take the risk. Yeah. You know the oh my god, yeah. The, the cameraman never died. <laughs> oi. Oh, okay, look at that. We have some ground to walk on. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Now that's a fall and a half. It's like the Great Wall of China, except there's no protection on the other side. It is actually. It's kind of similar, you know? Mile of wave. We're a little bit high up right now, but what a view. Like this part is okay, but the other part you go and then the wind blows and because of the columns, you go like one column is no wind and then you go into next column and it like blows you to the side. What? Yeah, exactly. This is the Portuguese pillory, probably 11th or 12th century, where bad people were tied up and good people would throw rotten tomatoes at them to punish them for their wrong doings. Yeah, when they do things like what Niels does. No, Niels is a good man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 